This is the retinol vitamin enriched antimicrobial serum. Welcome back to another one of my videos. In this video, we are going to explore the ability to use retinol along with a retinoid product. So stay tuned. Welcome back. This is Life According to Maria, in case you still don't know that. Uh, in this episode, we are going to be exploring a lot of uh, the ability to use retinol products, which are not the same as Retin-A or other retinoid products, uh, in combination. So, so can you use a retinol along with, let's say, Retin-A or Trentinoid or uh, Adapalene or any of those products. And there has been a lot of controversy on, you know, obviously the Retin-A, the Trentinoids, the Retinoids, the Adapalenes, they are the, the top of the heap here as far as skin rejuvenation and using them. There's a lot of, uh, uh, you know, talk back and forth how you should use it, how often you should use it, how many, you know, days in a row can you use it, should you skip a day, all of that. There's a number of YouTubers out here that explain how to use uh, Retin-A very well. And I strongly suggest before you start any regimen, and of course, consult with your dermatologist or your doctor before you start any retinoid products, um, I do suggest also that you uh, check out other YouTubers on here that go into specifics about their daily routine on how to use the Retin-A products properly. That said, I have been using uh, Differin, which is Adapalene, and Adapalene is a uh, uh, retinoid product um, specifically for acne and uh, that kind of thing but it has also murmurings and whisperings of rejuvenating your skin cells and turning skin around uh, you know uh, turning the skin cell around quicker uh, bringing it to the top um, so that a of course for the acne it, it, it goes and expurges out all of that and you know you get brighter beautiful skin but also it's been known you know for age spots and for discoloration and all just a general anti-aging properties because it is uh, part of the retinoid family okay um, I know it's kind of it's kind of ambiguous but it's it's not the same as the retin-A's are. They are trentinoids and they go um, a little bit deeper into the surface of the skin, so a, a few layers in there, and get a real, real deeper um, uh, experience as far as doing the cells and turning the cells over, if that makes sense. The adapalene, although it doesn't go as deeply, it does do a lot of uh, helpful benefits for your skin. Um, diminishing fine lines, diminishing wrinkles, diminishing age spots, um, obviously working with acne and diminishing that in your breakouts, etc, etc. I don't have acne, but um, in researching it, I have picked up Differin and I'm using it. In fact, I'm going to show this to you right now. It's the 1% gel, so there it is. And I use a tiny bit, a pea size amount. And I'm, I'll put up uh, links over here to uh, my other videos on how to use this, how to properly use it, how to maintain your skin the day after that you use it, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So those will all be linked in, you know, in my other videos, and you can click on those and go watch that. But in this uh, episode, what I wanted to show you was a lot of people ask, well. Now that I'm using a uh, trentinoid or a retinoid product of any type, do I or should I continue to use retinol? And retinol is vitamin A, it's a high potency vitamin A. It is, um, so it's part of the vitamin A family. Retin A and, retin and the trentinoids are a um, synthetic vitamin A that is basically, um, uh, just much more potent, okay? It's, it's 
kind of synthesized from vitamin A. It's a derivative, it's made from it, but it's synthetic vitamin A and therefore it's, it's way more potent than normal, natural, you know, either uh, vitamin A from your oils, uh, you know, facial oils that you could get, like um, uh, obviously vitamin A oil, but grapeseed oil, and uh, there's a number of other oils, I'll, I forget now, I can link them up here, that contain natural, you know, vitamin A, and it turns into uh, a retinol or a retinoid, not a retinoid, but a retinol, to work with your skin. Um, so anyway, a lot of people are wondering, can they continue to use these types of oils or these types of retinols if they are on a, a retinoid regimen? So I hope you are kind of following me on that, okay? Uh, the answer to that is, um, yes, you can if you're careful and you monitor um, what your skin is doing. You obviously, if you're doing uh, Retin-A, and you've built up to do your regimen every other day or every day. And that takes quite a while, by the way. Um, usually people start once a week and then use it twice a week and then go on and on till they get into a good groove, maybe every other day or every second day, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, a few of the YouTubers that I've seen up here have built up uh, basically their tolerance in their skin to be able to use a Retin-A product every single night and uh, that's something that they choose to do uh, obviously their skin can handle it not everyone's skin will be able to handle that uh, n not everyone's skin will be able to handle retin-a to begin with okay there are a number of people who have tried retin-a and uh, it just goes nuts um, you know their skin goes nuts and they kind of stop using it because it's like, oh, it, it gets much worse, it gets dried out, it gets, you know, you get could get rashes. Um, definitely people with rosacea should not be using it because of the sensitivity of their skin. So there's a lot of uh, issues where, you know, Retin-A is not going to be your choice. But those that do use it, um, they want to, you know, use the Retin-A a certain day. And then the other off days, the days they're not using the Retin-A, they are wondering, can we use a lighter retinol product, something that is not as potent, okay, to my skin as Retin-A, but has some of the vitamin A, um, you know, benefits? And the answer to that is, yes, you can. You can try to use the retinols and judge for yourself if your skin can tolerate the retinols alongside using the Retin-A. Now, I personally have been able to use the retinols and keep using retinol products along with the different that I am putting, the different that I'm putting on my skin, okay? And I'm going to go through and I'm going to show you some of the products that I have been using with success. Um, not on the nights. Now, I have to tell you this, okay? Not on the nights that you use uh, your retinoid product, what, whichever one that is, um, do not use the retinol along with it. I mean, that's just futile. Why would you? You know, you're, you're gaining the most benefit from using the Retin-A product. On your off nights, um, you know, if you can, you can use the retinol products. These are the ones that I use in no particular order. I'm just going to show you and I kind of rotate depending on you know, my moods or what I'm, I want to do. Uh, one is actually a um, tinted moisturizer, so I use that in lieu of uh, makeup or anything like that. All right, uh, but I'm not going to start with that one. I'm going to start with this one. This is the Retinol Vitamin Enriched Anti-Wrinkle Facial Serum, and I got this at uh, Beauty Sally uh, Beauty. Listen to me, Sally's Beauty Supply, not Beauty Sally Supply. I'm I'm talking backwards already. Uh, Sally's Beauty Supply. That's that one here. And it comes with the little uh, pipette, and it's uh, it looks kind of yellowish. See if you could look at that. It's kind of a yellow yellow color there. And uh, basically, I just put a few drops on my fingers and then just massage it in, just like I normally do after my cleanse, after my nightly cleanse, and all of that. Um, nothing spectacular, and that's the only thing I put on for the night for that night. If that's 
you know, as far as my moisturizer or anything else, this is all I'm doing. I just, I don't like to mix a lot of products. I know uh, some of the uh, gurus here use, you know, 10 bazillion products on their skin, layering it every night. I'm not that one. I'm gonna do my retinol and I'm gonna do it pure so that it gets into my skin right after I cleanse. I can cleanse, I can tone, uh, use my toner, and then after that use my retinol, bim, boom, bam, get it in there. Um, and you can use quite, you know, a, a, a nice amount, like a, a normal amount. You don't have to use the pea size amount that you normally use your retinoid with, uh, you know, for those amounts. You can use a normal amount, uh, get it between your fingers and then pat it all and also down your, you know, neck or wherever you want to put it. Uh, so that's the number one and I've found this very, very, very good. So I'm definitely keeping that. Uh, tried and true the rock retinol correction deep wrinkle night cream I actually started with this cream this is the cream that I started with before I went to the different slash adapalene um, <clears throat> I really liked it I've, I used it for a number of months and um, it only has the retinol in it obviously it's over the counter it's there's no retin a in it but the retinol seems to be very potent and when i put it on i did notice you know like if i didn't put any sunscreen on or i went out uh, you know um into the sun here in in atlanta um i noticed that my sun was starting to get uh, my skin was starting to get sensitive and uh pinkish so i knew that the retinol was working uh for cell renewal because my skin was changing and of course at that time I made sure that I would put enough sunscreen on so I wouldn't get pink or anything but I really noticed that this this stuff works and it really worked for my um, my 11s over here you know and under my eye I, I would go you know a little bit up here not all the way underneath but you know up here and also for my laugh lines I really noticed a, a marketed uh, reduction using this so definitely in my arsenal definitely keeping it on my off days to use that and then the um, the other one that I like and I I honestly I could I use this even during the day because I don't find it that potent it's the CeraVe skin renewing cream serum and it's got MVE delivery technology and it's got it's got peptides in it and all other stuff but uh, I believe it does have the, the yeah it does have retinol in it hold on I'm gonna read it with my little granny glasses again uh, it says here a restore protective skin barrier with exclusive encapsulated retinol and ceramide complex so it's got the ceramides and it's got the retinol encapsulated in it um, again a really good product for a really really good price this is um, there you go. This is just a, a great thing to keep on hand. CeraVe is, uh, or CeraVe, I don't know how you pronounce it, is a really good product line. They make a number of really good products, you know, skin cleansers and other things. So uh, definitely something. And it, it comes with the pump. And again, it's uh, kind of yellowy. I'm not going to squirt it out right now, but it's uh, it's got that yellowy look to it, just like the other vitamin A and retinol products do. Uh, so definitely something to keep on hand. Uh, the tube is, um, you know, won't allow any air or light in it, so it just it keeps the product potent for when you need it. And then the last thing that I've, um, well, two things. Sorry, two. Actually, I do have two. Uh, tinted moisturizers so these two they're both from Neutrogena which is wonderful Neutrogena let me tell you makes some of the best um, moisturizers and skin tints and um, beneficial makeup let's just say uh, makeup or foundation that has a lot of beneficial ingredients in it I, I really am loving Neutrogena products um, and I'm not sponsored you know not not never sponsored um, so the first one I have is Neutrogena healthy skin anti-aging perfecter I've got the fair to light in number 20 moisturizing retinol treatment with sunscreen okay can you see that guys there you go and I I really like this one again it comes with the pump and it's a very light tinted moisturizer. You just, uh, you know, rub it on your face and you're good to go. This is one of the things that I use on a Friday, very casual Friday. I put it on there and 
It's got the retinol benefits. Now this is the type of retinol that you use obviously during the day because you're putting it on as a tinted moisturizer so you're going out. Um, that's why it does have the built-in sunscreen in it and it's got an SPF of 20. Not a lot. Um, if you want to put a base coat of sunscreen underneath it before you put this on, that's fine, um, you know, just to make sure that you have enough coverage of sunscreen while you're using these products. You know, you can never have too much sunscreen. Seriously, when you're using retinol and retin-A products, you can't. So this is number one of my tinted moisturizer. And then the other one that I've got here is the Neutrogena Healthy Skin Enhancer with sunscreen. This also has a broad spectrum of SPF 20. And I'm going to read it again for you guys. This says uh, three daily essentials, retinol treatment, sun protection, and sheer tint. And it's oil free. This is amazing. It's fair to light number 20. Um, <clears throat> again, great little pump there. See? And again, a day, a day retinol. So you know, these tinted ones are the day retinols, and like I said, the other serums that I use are the night, the night treatment that I use. Um, I'm sure it doesn't have a ton of retinol in it because obviously, you know, you're not going to go out there and, you know, burn yourself. But it has enough where it gets into your skin and at least gives you some benefit and some workability throughout the day as you're going through your day, you know, to, to do whatever it is that you do. Um, so... Uh, you know, if you're using this, I would say, honestly, um, I haven't, um, I haven't needed to not use the Differin on the days that I put on the tinted moisturizer with the retinol. Let me clarify that. If I go out in the morning and I put one of these on for my makeup, let's say, you know, this is what I'm going to use for my makeup. I go to work. I put this on, it's got retinol in it, and I go out and I do my job, whatever, come in at night, cleanse my face, I still can use my, it, to me, I still can use my Differin or Adapalene that night if, I, if I'm on that, on that night to use it, okay? Uh, I don't see any uh, detrimental effects from using the re this retinol product, these tinted moisturizers during the day, and then putting on the Differin at night for my actual uh, retinoid treatment, okay? Uh, however, when I use the Differin, uh, you know, or Adapalene, let me reverse that. When I use the Differin at night, I choose, obviously, not to use any other retinol products after that at night, okay? I choose to use those uh, nightly serums or the Rock um, you know, or any, or the CeraVe, um, I choose to use that during the nights that I don't use the different. All right. I, I hope I'm making sense to you guys. And so basically I never interact, uh, the different with the nightly retinol serums or creams. Okay. The only time I interact or can interact uh, the different is with some of those tinted moisturizers because I feel that the tinted moisturizers don't have enough or a high potency of retinol in them to matter, okay? They're not going to affect uh, that you've, you're choosing to put the, the you know, Retin-A or the different on at night after you take off your makeup. Um, so that's where I wanted to differentiate for you guys um, you know, using retinol versus using retin-A when you can and when you can't use them and how to interact with them. I hope that all is ironed out now and you guys are all cool with that. Um, you know, if not, leave me uh, comments below and I'm, I'm very happy to answer all your questions. Like I said, this is like a, you know, experiment for me too. Uh, all I have to give you guys is my experience and my face. So, you know, if my face breaks out or if my face does something uh, weird with any of these products, I will surely come on here and let you guys know that, hey, I tried this in combination with this and it just smacked me upside the head and it is horrible and don't use it. You know, I will be the first one to admit to you guys of a failure. That is 100% true. So don't you ever worry that I'm just, you know, building it up to some 
baloney and you know I'm not trying these things out I am trying them out I'm working with these and I'm making sure that you know there's no interaction or at least none that I can find and I'm passing that on to you again you have to know you you have to know your skin you have to know how sensitive you are you have to know you know are you acne prone are you rosacea prone do you have anything else going on and consult your doctor obviously have an open discourse with your doctor and say hey I'd like to use this along with that can I should I when should I the more you answer you ask them questions uh, the more they will be able to fill you in on the details and um, you know best thing you can do is ask your doctor all of these questions but anyway I love you guys I hope that this was a benefit for you all and uh, give me a thumbs up of course uh, for this video I try to put on videos about twice a week now um, and I don't know about more than that because you know I do have my full-time job and um, I'm still running around doing all kinds of different things but uh, I'm really trying to put put out as much videos as I can with quality content obviously uh, I'm not coming on here to just jib jab for the sake of jib jabbing so I love you guys I will talk to you later big blessings to everybody big kisses and I'll see you in my next video bye bye